In this video, I'll show you how to draw the burger bar on Main Street. If you're drawing all these stores, you might like to make a square template. All the stores are designed on a square, so you can make the square any size you like to fit the diorama you're going to make. And you can make these little marks here to show where the midway points are, which are quite useful because I know I'm going to want to know where the middle of the line is for the doors. And I'm going to want to have a line coming across there as well. So I'm going to have these walls on the outside about there. I'm pressing, I'm not pressing hard here. I'm hardly touching the paper uh, because I'm going to erase the lines later and it uh, makes it a lot easier much later. So we want to have this coming up just a little bit above there like that. And then we're going to want to have a curve there as well like that across that bit there. And we're going to have a little bit up at the top there as well. So I am going to start just by drawing a black line all around the outside. If you go to my Patreon page you can download a PDF with black and white and colour versions of all the stores in my Main Street drawing videos. And then I'm going to draw this curve like that and then a little bit on each side there and then we're going to draw another curve coming around like that. Then we want this line to come down and this line to come down there like that. And let's put that line in across the top there as well. And what we're going to do here is we're going to have this kind of stone edges. So stone blocks, so you've got big ones and then and not quite so big one or it's coming deeper in and then that's not coming quite so deep. So this is making this sort of pattern down the edge of the whole thing. And um, we'll get down, oh, that's a bigger one, isn't it? And then maybe a smaller one there. And we want to do like the same on this side. Of course, some of you I know will want to get things absolutely perfect. So you might want to put rulers across to get them exactly the same on each side, but it doesn't really matter. If we're just sketching it, you can just, just draw it. And of course, if you want to use rulers, you can use a ruler. There are no rules. Well, except on a ruler, of course. <laughs> no rules in this drawing. Now, this side is going to be brick. So we're going to do... We're not going to draw every single one. Maybe a short one there. So maybe just sort of like that. And just a, just a pair there. And one on the bottom. And then we can put sort of little ones in between. So you don't want to draw every single brick on a building because <laughs> you'll go crazy. If you just sort of draw a few, it gives you the impression, it just tells you this is brick. And that's all you really need. So we we'll put three on there, shall we? Like that, and there, and then a few smaller ones. Like that. Good. Now we're going to build the the sort of windows and things inside. So, so we're going to draw a line across here, like that, and then another line just underneath it. And then we're going to draw a kind of window frame down the side. So a storefront is really just a hole in the wall and then you kind of build your things into that hole. And so we want to know roughly where the doors are going to be. So let's draw a line down there. We want that same distance to about here. Oh, I think that's not quite so wide, but anyway, it's roughly the same. And then we can draw the top windows like that, coming across. And then we want the door coming down here. And that's going to have a big handle. So it's going to be a big sheet of glass. The whole thing is going to be a sheet of glass. 
and we'll have sort of bits at the bottom there so you can't keep the window in there and I think Boca bars usually have a posters in the window don't they telling you what we've got so we'll put beef and then a burger like that with things on the top and put veg and another burger with little buns and things on the top little sesame seeds like that and then we probably got a little sign round about there telling you the opening times and I think we'll have a, a burglar alarm up there and then we want to have the word burger up at the top for the sign B U R G E R. And if you if you do it in pencil, you can work out how it's going to fit in. And so I'm going to do a kind of bubble writing for this. Like B U. So it's sort of going around the pencily bits that you've done already. Uh, <laughs> uh, 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 I think I've got to make this a little bit wider to make it fit, to make it stretch all the way across. Uh, uh, and I'll make that go across a little bit more there. Great. And then we can put some more bricks in there as well. And try and sort of lay them, sort of one there and then another one there, so they're not just stacked on top of each other, because that's not how you see bricks, is it, usually? Put those in there. So put one there and another one like that. So you've got sort of, they're not stacked one on top of the other, they're aside from each other, like you see bricks in a wall. There we go. And I think this store can be number... This can be number 40. I'm net numbering all these stores. I'm probably going to get the same number up by mistake on one of them. And then here we want to have a great big giant burger picture like that. So we're going to go around the top like that. And then we want some bits of lettuce and pickle and stuff sticking out. And then we're going to want the patty which could be a vegetarian could be anything bean <laughs> bean patty beef patty whatever like that and little seeds on the top I think we'll take that line up there as well and then here this is going to be glass so let's put these kind of glass lines in there like that and you can go over the poster as well because that makes it look like the poster is stuck on the window from the inside and these are going to be glass doors like that and then all you need to do is erase all those pencil lines which will be easy because you didn't press too hard did you <laughs> good <laughs> then all you need to do is color it in and subscribe to draw stuff real easy so you can draw lots more stores on main street inkwell thanks for watching bye